Hello, Caldwell Choirs. This is Mr. G, and I'm coming to you live from my home office, quarantining. I hope you are, this video finds you well. Thank you for opening this up. I'll try and be as brief as I possibly can. Lots of things that I need to share with you in a short amount of time. This uh, Google form that you've clicked into and you are now in has a lot of information for the remainder of the year, as far as we understand it. Until I'm told otherwise, this is the plan moving forward. We have two things that have to get done before the end of the year. And those two things are auditions for next year's choirs and figuring out the membership for choir council. Both of those things have to be done virtually this year. A little tricky, but not impossible. There are several links below this video in the Google form, which you will want to make sure you look through fully uh, for all of the information and all the details. At the very end of this Google form, there is a spot where you can ask any questions you like, and that set of questions can be as long as you possibly dare. I will answer and look at all of them and answer them in a video in the up, uh, probably at the end of the week. So, the links that are below this video include the audition packet, rehearsal tracks for your auditions, which you should practice with a lot, because that's exactly what the rehearse or the audition will look like. You will have audition time slot signups, and there's a link to smart music to practice your sight reading. If you're not sure how to function any of those things, again, included in those uh, in the questions section at the bottom of this uh, Google form. The packet is full of information. Read everything. It will give you the process, the expectations, and what I'm looking for in your audition. If you really want to be in one of those upper ensembles, you should audition for that ensemble. If you want to be in Madrigals, you should go for it. I will never tell you that you can't audition for that group. I'll never do that. I need students in those choirs, in all of them. The only person that could tell you that you shouldn't audition for any of those is yourself. So don't be an obstacle for yourself. Sight reading, the sight reading portion of the audition is a little odd. It's gonna look like this. I'm gonna share my screen with you. Um, and this is exactly actually how the audition uh, for the the sight reading portion of the audition will go. I will share my screen like I am now with you. And let me pull up your sight reading. So this is an example. This is not exactly what it's gonna look like. It will look different for every single student. Um, but questions that I might ask you would be, what key are we in? What's the time signature? What solfege do we start on? Those are gonna be very traditional questions that you need to have the answers to. We'll give you some time. There's a process in the audition packet for you to read through on how the site reading goes. That's the, uh, that's the majority of everything with the audition process. The only thing that's not marked in the audition process and in that packet is the results of the auditions will come to you no later than May 6th. Okay. The second thing is choir council applications. And there is a form linked, again, underneath of this video. Just make sure you're reading everything properly. Um, these students, who, who is in choir council and what is it? What do they do? These are students who help me run rehearsals when I'm gone. Oftentimes, these are also students who are leading warm-ups. Sometimes they're helping me develop fundraisers or set up and tear down all choir events develop and fulfill marketing plans, social media posts, anything really that I need help with, these are the students that I will call upon. They're my most trusted students that I can give them um, things to do and I know that they'll get done. If you want to be a part of the reason why the choir program at CHS is so successful, please apply for a choir council position. Even if you're like, I don't need, I, I'm willing to help, but I don't need a job title or anything specific. I'll just be there to help whenever I need it. 
uh, whenever Mr. G rather needs it. Um, you can just be a council member. That's really, it's really simple. If you're interested in helping, it's really gonna be hard for me to say no. I need all the help I can get beyond the emotional mental side of everything. Um, okay, and then uh, decisions for that, uh, for choir council will also be released on May 6th, okay. And then uh, the final last little bits. Um, again, Smart Music is linked below to help you with your sight reading. Smart Music has a bunch of other stuff too. So if you're bored at home and you want something to do, maybe learn a new piece of music or listen to a bunch of different stuff, you can go on to Smart Music. It has a ton of things there, lots of fun. Um, check it out, ask me questions. Maybe we'll do a video conference and we can look through some stuff. It'd be fun. The last thing is this, we know that we can't meet with you personally um, as it stands right now anymore for as long as we know. So the Fine Arts Department at CHS has devised a social media campaign that we're calling C-Town Creates. And that's actually going to be our official hashtag of this campaign. So C-Town Creates, the letter C, town, creates no spaces no special symbols nothing like that here's the plan here's the idea every monday morning we will be giving you a theme for that week and then through that theme we hope that you'll find ways to express yourselves through the arts acting singing dancing drawing painting sculpting doesn't matter so our plan is uh that you can work alone, you can have your siblings in it, you can virtually collaborate with other peers. I think that'd be really cool. If you're not completely embarrassed by them, you can even have your parents join in. Um, Caldwell Choirs, we are gonna highlight every Saturday kind of our favorite posts that that hashtag includes and what we've been tagged in. So um, we hope that maybe you can be highlighted one of these weeks, it'd kind of be cool. Um, so every Monday morning, as long as we're in the school closure, we'll give you a new theme for you to try out. So your first theme starting today, um, week one, is your favorite movie. So maybe sing or play the theme song from that movie. Uh, maybe reenact one of the scenes or do a lip sync to that scene. That'd be hilarious. Um, maybe draw a scene, maybe, even a big challenge, draw it from memory. See if you could do that. I don't know, there's a bunch of different stuff. You can try a bunch of different things. We're just kind of throwing some ideas out for you. Hopefully this keeps us positive, getting to see one another, uh, express ourselves and maybe get a couple laughs in there. Uh, the, these are trying times, we understand, but hopefully maybe we can flood our social medias um, with a bunch of excitement and fun, silly things that we're doing just to keep ourselves sane. Okay, much love to all of you. Best of luck in your press, uh, preparations for your auditions, and I hope to see you soon. Ask questions and have a good day. Bye.